This is a two-thirds scale model of Leeds Coleman's Perpetual Motion Holder. And it is indeed a flux capacitor. Um, the two-thirds scale makes it a little bit more practical to make. Um, I've squared off the bottom. It's a little bit easier to work with and to experiment with than the full-size version, it, but produces the exact same results with all of the experiments that he suggests. So it's he primarily uses it for a teaching device. It may be capable of time travel. I have had it up to 88 miles an hour. Uh, didn't notice anything significant. But uh, right now I just want to do a quick demonstration of its capability, at least as a flux capacitor, and to uh, demonstrate how once you charge it, it works as lead stone and uh, said it would, and that it will light up a light bulb no matter how long you leave it. There's multiple demonstrations to that effect on the web now on my site, magneticuniverse.com. Um, I've let it sit for over a year and it never lost its charge. Right now you can see that there's absolutely no charge whatsoever in it. Um, but I'm going to use a AA battery. It is a lithium-ion battery. I don't think it's fully charged. But I'm going to test it just to show that it is a AA and it's it's in the good range. I don't know if the need, you can see the needle there. But it's enough to charge it. It seems like near capacity. Um, but enough to light the light bulb. So this other 2-inch coil here leads Conan has you make to demonstrate how AC currents work, how, uh, uh, how a transformer works, how a generator works, how permanent magnets are made, which is very similar to this when it's at full capacity. Uh, it goes on forever, so it's perpetual, which may or may not defy several laws of our modern understanding of, or at least current EM theory. So right now, so this battery is about, I don't know, three quarters of the way charged. I'm going to, this is a bit rudimentary, but uh, charge it with this battery. And it just takes a second or two that may have gotten it, but just to be on the safe side. So yes, you can see that there's a significant charge in there and that will last forever unless you yank it off. So in this case, I was charging without the light bulb in because I've burned up many light bulbs. Uh, <laughs> Charging it with a light bulb in, so. Light bulbs in, you can probably barely see that. But, uh, so when I yank the bar off, the charge that's in here, the circulating currents will be released and they'd rather run in those coils than they would the air so they'll go back through the coils and line up the light bulb. I've demonstrated this before with one coil. I've also shown that you can unwind the coils to no effect. It'll still remain charged so the coils have nothing to do with the device after it's in its charge state. And you can go back through and look at all those videos like I mentioned. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and yank the bar off and we'll see what happens, see if it lights up the light bulb. So it did indeed light up the light bulb and um, proves, you know, at least one of Ed's theories is correct. He wasn't a fraud. You can test everything he said for yourself. He's got over 50 experiments in his writings. Um, the coolest ones, of course, utilize the perpetual motion holder or the world's only f real working flux capacitor. And... Uh, 
that's about it. Thanks. Look out for more videos. I'll, next video, I may demonstrate this coil and how Ed demonstrates how AC current works and a few other things. So stay tuned. Thank you.